Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Devil's Backbone. They're up the road here about two hours. Uh, uh, in Lexington, they have a brew pub too. It's a short distance away from there. But got two little operations going and they do really, really good stuff. So most of the stuff I, that they do I like. And uh, had some correspondence from, uh, from one of the guys up there. And uh, said I was an influence on them getting the dating machine there and I don't know if I'm going to believe that or not but I appreciate the comments there guys so this is their Kilt Flasher it's a wee heavy Scottish ale and this is a big one too guys uh, I don't think it has it here on it does too 12 what ounces 80 ABV on this edition so this is 8% beer guys pretty stout uh, as far as dating uh, they were dating the bottles uh, and uh, got it right here it's in black i wish they switched that over and it's really hard to see we'll we'll try to see what it is i mean it's almost impossible to see in, with beer in the bottle and once it's empty you can see it a little bit so uh, let's get on with this one guys devil's backbone is wee heavy eight percent food pairing for this cheese is a buttery breed of gouda havarti swiss the meat is smoked meat and salmon. Glass bars of plank, Becker, the Stein, the mug, the oversized uh, wine glass, uh, the tulip glass, about whatever you want to pour it in. Let's pour it into a glass. And the beer says can be cellared for extended periods. It's been an 8% beer, so uh, uh, that's not anything else we need to discuss on here. So without further ado, let's get the cap off of this one. And into the floor it rolls. Let's see if we can get us ahead on this. Alright guys, into the glass. There's the label, so y'all can take a look at it. Over into the light, it is a rich amber, almost a bronze color. Very clear. Don't see any haze at all in it. No floaties or anything floating around in it, so a very nice looking beer. There are a few bubbles streaming up. About a half a finger of off color. I'd say it's a tan off white head there so let's get a nose on it and see what we got I'm getting uh, roasted malt some dark fruit maybe some raisins or some plums or some figs or, or dates or something it smells very pleasant maybe some caramel or toffee too very pleasant smelling, very, very pleasant. This guy's doing a good job up there. Cheers, everybody. Very nice, very easy drinking. Which could get you in trouble with an 8% beer. Dark fruit, toffee, some candied sugar, some dark fruit. Figs, dates, raisins. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Well, let's right out of the fridge. 40 degrees, guys. Leaving some nice lacing there, though. We're going to let it warm up just a little bit and let the other half step on it, and we'll come back and do the final chug. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Very delicious beer. I enjoy this quite a bit. Just like I said, most of the stuff they do is pretty enjoyable. Uh, the striped bass is probably the, the, the least enjoyable of the ones I've had, and, and it was done many months ago, so uh, that being said, we do the final chug. It's basically the same beer uh, that it was before we left. A lot of sweetness to it, though. Very well-made beer. Very delicious. But on the sweeter side. I can't complain though. I mean, it's very nice. Oh, we were going to look at the date. 
there is something digitized, but guys, it is just so hard for my old ass to see. Here we go. Uh, boned on November 6, 2012. So, guys, you told me was, well, these beers were going to have the boned on date. Uh, whew. Can we get some yellow ink, guys? This black ink is so hard to see, man. It is so hard to see. Well, but they're trying. They're making the attempt, and I applaud them. Thumbs up, guys. I appreciate you making the attempt. It's really hard to see with beer in it to me, especially in, in the rickety old lighting I got here. So, uh, I like the beers. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Guys, this is an 8, which is an A-. minus. It's definitely an A beer. I enjoyed this. It's available here locally. It's not expensive, so uh, I will be drinking more of this. It's a... It's pretty tasty. The, uh, the ratings on this from Beer Advocate is 84, and Rate Beer comes in with 82 overall and a 50 in style. Don't think I'm going to agree with the, with the numbers from them on this one, and I'm usually pretty well with them. Uh, actually, Beer Advocate's got 84, which is better than the numbers that uh, the Rate Beer has got. So, no, uh, I think it's better than that. I, I definitely think it's an A beer. I enjoyed this one. It's just a tad more on the sweet side for me, but that's the style that it is. It's the Scottish Ale, a little wee heavy. Very well made beer for an 8% beer. So, that being said, and the, the distribution I don't think is great on this one. So, they're trying to get bigger and bigger and standing out. So, anybody's had this one, give me some comments back on this one. Let me know whether you liked it, loved it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. So, uh, let me know. Let's hope we can find one just as tasty as this tomorrow. So, hit the like button if you like it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and see everybody tomorrow.